Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at a new bag. Well, I guess it's kind of a new bag. It's a new version of an older bag that they used to do, uh, the Split Compact from Planet Eclipse. So this is definitely different than you've seen before from them as far as this style bag. Uh, it's, it's got some pretty cool features to it. Uh, a lot of trickery, I guess, would be the right word to it. So let's go ahead and look at the main bag area. Go around the outside of it, starting at the front where you guys can see there, you obviously can see two straps right here, or two clips, but with no straps, which is weird, right? So we'll show you what that's for. And then you've got loops, so you can just attach a bunch of stuff to your loops right there. On the back side, right here, I guess this would be the front side, the top. So you have extendable handle right there. You've also got, which is different for them, a little pocket right here. First little part has an ID section right there. So you can put your ID inside of there. It'll keep it nice and uh, it's nice and secure. But it also has a zipper that goes around and it folds down this part right here. So inside here, you have another little pocket, clear pocket, so you could put identification in there if you needed to as well. But it also has a pocket that goes all the way, well, not all the way, it goes about three quarters of the way into the bag, about to here, but on the inside under section. So it's not in the way of the main compartment of the bag, and it's really designed for dirty stuff. Shoes, pants, gear, whatever it happens to be, whatever is dirty, muddy, and gross that you don't want to be in your bag, slide it in that pocket. Just don't forget about it, because that would be gross. Um, and it'll keep it safe from all of your other stuff. Won't contaminate the rest of your bag. So I like that, that's pretty cool. Uh, like a little hidden uh, dirty clothes pocket right there. All right, so again, same thing you see on this side. Well, that's the side we already looked at, huh? Let's look at the back side. The side you didn't see. So same thing on the other side, straps and loops. And then this would be the bottom right there. You have a nice handle right here, which doubles as the, the stand or the foot for it when it's standing up so that it doesn't fall over. We've got uh, a nice rugged bottom to it right here. So any kind of impact that you're having, it's gonna take it. Nice big all-terrain wheels. And then on the bottom, we've got runners all the way up through the bag. I like seeing the runners on where the wheels are because stuff always is getting jammed into the wheels, especially when it starts to get muddy. So having more protection towards the wheel is good. Plus the, the ribbing along the side here, it's gonna protect it from uh, stairs, curbs, escalators, uh, people working at the airport, chucking your bags around, whatever it happens to be. Um, good structural rigid rigidity. Um, one of the things with Planet Eclipse bags in the past was not they were always not as stiff as they seemed like they should be. They solved that problem with this bag. This bag comes in the box looking just as square as this right now. It's not collapsed down. It's not squashed and you have to open it up. It is just like this. Square, rigid, firm, uh, just a good bag right there. So let's open it up and see what's going on inside the bag. First time I opened this bag, I was not expecting to see what I did. So let's unzip it all the way around. Open it up. When we open it up, we see we've got a mesh panel right here with two zippers, so you can get into the stuff. You can load it up in there. But I looked at this thing and I pulled it out. I thought to myself, what in the world is this? They Did they load two bags into this one and this is a completely separate thing? Uh, well, no, they didn't. This is why it's called a split compact bag. In the main section of the big bag right here, we've got one long zippered pouch right here. You can slide stuff inside and it's not attached like that. And then you've got two, the same size bag or uh, pouch, but just divided into two sections. So one, two, right there. And that compartment that we talked about earlier with the muddy shoes and stuff is actually underneath this part right here. So everything will slide in underneath there. All right, so what do we do with this? Right here. Well, this is, could be used in its uh, by itself as a bag. It's got a handle, you could carry it right here. But what it's actually designed to do is attach to this bag on top. Now, if you're gonna attach it to the top, what I would, uh, well, if you, you do it two ways. If you're gonna use it as 
just an, ex an extension of the bag. You can take this top piece and you can fold it down inside of here to create the space that you're looking for, the big open cavity right here. If you're not gonna use it as that and you wanna use it as two separate bags, we would just strictly attach it. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll actually put this down so you can see what it would be like if we were to use it as a large open space. On the bottom, going around this part, you've got a zipper around the outside right here. So this zipper is going to attach to this one lone zipper, which goes around the outside of this one right here. So you've got a start position right there. You're gonna put them on top of each other. Try to line them up as best you can. That. Oops, we wanna pull that all the way back though. Make sure that our starting zipper is all the way at the back here. And zip it up. You can kind of see what I did there. I get this strap out of the way. Zip it right along there. I undid it. Now I've gone and broke it. There we go. Let's try again. I don't think I had it all the way at the back. There we are. Let's go all the way around. So basically we're just making one giant bag now. There it is. So now we stack basically two bags on one, making one huge bag. Now we can take those straps that we saw before and we can lock them down so that the bags are together. Like that. So that if the zippers for some reason fail, that you don't lose your bag. Like that. And like, like that. Now we can open the top zipper. And we can look inside. Before I do that, actually, there's one. I've got to move this forward so you can see it. So there's one zippered pocket area, so we can use this top flap as a pocket, or you can keep it closed and not use it as a pocket. We can fold this open. On the top section, there's a little pocket right here, so you can undo this one. It kind of gives you some instructions, some diagrams as how you can use or configure the bag itself. You can unzip that, pull that out of there and use this as another pouch, which we can also, as I think I can get it from this side, I might not be able to, I can't. I gotta get back inside of it. Bear with me. Probably should have thought of that before we zip this whole thing together. Let's see if I can reach it. If I just undo half of this, and not undo it the whole way. I can reach inside here and unzip it. All right, now we'll zip it back together. There we go. I'm not gonna bother to latch the outside straps. So now, this pock that used to be right here, which was attached to the middle, or going across the middle, I've gotten it out of the way. And there's actually you can roll this up, and there are two little elastic bungees right here. You can't see them because my hand's in the way. There they are, right there. And you can wrap them around this piece and tuck it up so that it doesn't uh, come back out. Now you can use this whole bag as one giant open space. Pretend like this is like that. There you go. So again, if you want to use it as one massive bag, you can. If you want to divide it into two bags, like that, you can. And another cool thing is they added another handle or another stand to this part so that when you are traveling with it together and you do turn it up on its side, it still stands up. It doesn't collapse on itself because this is just fabric. It'll stay uh, standing up like it should. So there you go, kind of a different take on a bag, a gear bag right there. Multiple pieces that attach to make one giant piece. It's kind of like a transformer. Um, or keep them separate, use them as two separate compartments. 
uh, I think it's pretty cool. Another thing nice about it is if you're not using it and you need to store it, put the bag inside the other bag, it makes it smaller. So the brand new split compacts from Planet Eclipse, they come in a bunch of different colors, so check the website for color availability. Order yours now through ansgear.com.